My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I'd like to show the world uh, the silliness that I'm working on now. I found a whole box of um, tire weights. You put them on a tire, they have a little thing that holds them on. Oh, just so you know, I got this big bag of aluminum pull tabs but I don't have enough heat to melt them. Why would I care? Well, the lead and antimony in the tire weights was melted down and I made a big lead sheet. And as you could tell, the theory is, you know, can you make something with lead Will lead have any effect on the mind control? So, you know, I'm melting this down in, a, in a, on the stove, in a little uh, stove top uh, melting. Yes, this is lead. And I think this crap on top is atimony. I wouldn't have put atimony in there. I don't know why they did. It seems to make the lid more brittle. Um, but anyway, this is my second try for a sheet. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's much thicker in the middle than the edges. So I'm gonna remelt it. I'm using this thing as a, as a mold. Uh, and actually, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I, I melted this whole metal thing on the stove and I bent it, and the lead hit the... Anyway, one thing you got to be really careful about when melting and working with molten metals, besides the fact that lead is a neurotoxin, you got to wash your hands and all that other shit, you don't want it in your food, I'm never going to use this vessel again for, for food, so you know, don't worry about that. Uh, who was it? The Romans who had lead plates? They all went insane? Yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna remelt this thing. I'm gonna try it again, but I wish I had enough heat to melt aluminum and other things so I could try various metals and combinations of metals. Just a theory. I, I really do believe that carbons are going to be the, the answer to uh, this microwave, uh, scalar, mind control, whatever the fuck it is. For some reason, I have the feeling that new carbon metamaterials, carbon nanotubules, quantum dots, etc. Now, I was hearing something about quantum dots yesterday. Uh, Sophia Smallstorm, uh, interesting researcher, interesting name. She talks about Morgellon synthetic biology, and one of the things she speaks about is quantum dots. Quantum dots are little tiny atom size or subatomic size particles of a crystalline structure which can be tuned to a particular electromagnetic frequency. They are highly tunable. In other words, these little things uh, can absorb energy at a particular frequency and transduce it to something else. Um, you know, that's my theory is that these little things were being used to, uh, I don't know, you think about it. That's it for now. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thanks for watching.